Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back in the garden. Uh, it's been a while. Obviously, I always tell you guys every time I've been busy. Uh, always busy with the light company, PLC, Pacific Light Concepts. And uh, what you're seeing above is what I've been so damn busy with. Uh, I don't actually want this video to be about the lights, but uh, just so you guys know that this has been taking all my priority, and uh, this video will kind of explain how the gardens got neglected. Uh, in the process of doing other things, as many pe many people in gardens do. Um, if we're talking to professional growers, it obviously runs their life. It is their life. It's their job. It's their income. It's all that. But uh, for the average home gardener or the um, the self-supplying medicinal gardener, however you want to put it, uh, you know, life can get in the way. Whether it be kids, work, uh, wife, whatever, um, just other activities. I, you know, even though we love cannabis and everything, it's not. Uh, we like to get out. We like to surf, mountain bike, whatever. Um, so, with that said, things happen. And uh, for me, um, you know, I no longer do this professionally. I do this as my own personal garden, as you guys have been seeing for the last few years. And uh, I, just like everyone else, have. Uh, have suffered from neglect here, and what I got going today is root aphids. Um, horrible little fuckers. I've, uh, I've never actually, um, in my 11, yeah, 11 years of growing, I've never actually experienced root aphids. I've had a uh, few leaf aphids, very rarely. Um, those usually are just a, a speck. Um, but what I got here is like a full-blown infestation. And I'll get in here and I'll show you guys um, in the actual cubes. But what you're looking at is uh, alien rift number 11, one one and uh, number 13. Um, those are the only two remaining. Uh, I had 14 along the way, but 14 got taken out by these root aphids. Uh, I probably could have saved them, but I had six clones, and that's how I found out about the root aphids. All of a sudden, I look at my clones, and there's these black spots all down in the, uh, in the side of the, you know, I don't have any cubes on me, but um, in the rock wall, right where the stem is. I go, what the fuck is that? Uh, and sure, you know, as soon as you see them, you know what they are. The frickin', uh, it's really easy to identify them. Um, and I'll get you in here and show you some more. But anyway, uh, the clones, I tried a couple days, some quick uh, quick things, be it organicide, and also poured straight 99% alcohol on them uh, to try to dehydrate them. And it just, it wasn't working fast enough. I was getting really worried. And sure as shit, of course, I mean, even if I pulled them out immediately, the, uh, the rest of the gardens, um, it's infested. I'll show, like I said, I'll show you in here, but uh, these are gone. At least in the clones, they stay to the rock wall. In here, now we have all this, all this surface area that they're going to be on. The, uh, they tend to stay to the outsides. They will burrow in and be actually in the medium, but they do a lot of times get their easy access through the outside of the pot right there. Um, so anyway, they're all over there, and uh, we're kind of fucked. We're in the, we're in the position where, truthfully, if this was a professional setup, I'd I, these are all I have. I would start over. Um, just clean the room, boom, over. But I have a little trip coming up here, and I'm not going to get the garden to full scale. And long story short, I have a month that I could be throwing, or two months I could be throwing away. So I'm going to see if I can salvage these clones, just these ones, and run a four, uh, run just one 4x8. Um, and even that is going to be pushing it. It'll probably be like a 4x6. Uh, it's eight plants, and right now, as you see them, they've already missed five days in their five-gallon containers because I want to confine them to this small space till I get these root aphid situation uh, a little more controlled. That way, uh, you know, if I put these into a five-gallon, now I have five gallons of medium for these little fuckers to hide in. Versus right now, um, my roots are almost taking up that whole this whole little half three-quarter gallon pot here. Um, so it's easier for me to uh, to get to them. So what I'm doing here is I'm just dipping them, um, take them completely out of their pots. Got some nice nice roots. Um, oh, see, yep, couple for sure. Um, a couple for sure, but this one isn't as bad and it's so interesting because on top of that these roots are much more white than I've already done those four over there um, these are much more white let's lay it down see if we can find some of these root aphids here hmm, not too bad see one springer um, but not too bad right here bet you we can find a oh yeah look at those fuckers 
See right here we got a winged one. Right in the hole there you see him crawling around, that's a winged one. I think up top there there might be a uh, still juvenile. But that's how they get in. They crawl up through the, through the holes on the bottom of the pot here, get up, make their way around and find all these nice white roots spinning around the outside of a pot. And uh, they'll just latch on. So here, let me let's get some, oh yeah, look at this. All right, Sony, come on. It's hard to see, but that brown spot right there, that golden little thing, that's about five or six, just kind of huddling there. Um, and these actually appear to be dead. I did treat these Oh no, they're moving. There they go. So that's them moving all around. You see the one in between the roots there? It's it's tough to see. I will say they are they are very small. A little green right there, that green dot, that's a dead one. That one's moving, crawling all over that root right there. So it's tough to see. But what I'm doing got a bucket of organicide and we're giving them like a 30 second full drip fully under submerged um, running two and a half ounces of organicide per gallon of water here there's about two and a half three gallons here and uh, just fully let them let them drown basically a uh, combination of drown and the oil coverage on the eggs and the adults um, do this over the next three days a couple times and hopefully get them under control if not, we'll scrap them, but uh, we'll try to fight it on. We'll try to be a, uh, a regular gardener here and, and fight her on. I'm even dipping the, I'll do it after I pull her, but I even put the pots down in the, uh, in the dip there so it either washes anything that's hidden in there off or at least gets a, gets a coat. And we'll just let them drip in the pot. Okay. Voila. That's all we can do for now. Um, you can see these girls are well on their way uh, with another, they, they've got about another two weeks veg before I have to leave so I might be able to to get them a little bigger if I can get them transplanted um, early enough and they, they could take up two lights worth. Uh, but for now, got them under the three bars chilling. Obviously the hanging system, you can hang as many bars on as long of a rail as you have. It's a nice little bracket system, but uh, I will get a full, um, well I won't be doing it, but PLC will be doing a full video on their lights and everything to do with them. So don't worry about that, just want to get in here, get you some footage, tell you what's going on with the garden, and uh, just kind of talk fair and shoot the shit with you guys, see what you guys do about um, brood aphids. I know there's plenty of different methods, but uh, shoot it down in the comments. Thanks for watching. And thank you for guys for being curious about what's going on in the garden, not just the lights as well. Um, appreciate it to all my followers who have been around for a while. It's not just a, not just a light show. It's all about the garden. It's all about the medicine um, and how we can kind of maximize that with some great lighting and everything else along the way. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll let you know how these guys turn out.